the demo took a little bit, it uh, didn't take as long as I thought it would be, so we're, we have uh, some extra time, but go ahead. Uh, about the tool, there we had some, it's, it's not available for download today because we had a couple of hiccups at the last minute with uh, our legal department just in terms of making sure everything was kosher about licensing. So uh, it's going to be uploaded to the TrustWave website. Um, per, this should be probably this weekend. Um, we're both the source code and the executable. Um, it's pretty straightforward to use. Uh, and I think that's about it. Um, by the way, Thank you very much. Any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, we're, we're going to I, I think we'll just post. Yeah, I think we're just going to post it on our website as well. Black well, Hat Black Hat will probably put it up on theirs also. I think. Yeah. Any other questions? Go ahead. I'm sorry, what for private uh, method? Well, it's really, okay, so the, right, yeah, the question had to, the question was regarding whether, uh, basically about private methods within uh, JavaScript where they weren't being converted from Java to JavaScript. JavaScript itself, at least the current versions uh, that are implemented in browsers, doesn't support the concept of private members of a class. Everything is public. So there's really no way of translating uh, with any possibility into JavaScript. A additionally, um, from a security point of view, it, it really doesn't g gain anything. I mean, you know, within the, a programming language, the pr a private method is mostly for discipline purposes to keep developers from monkeying with things they shouldn't. Even within Java, it's possible to bypass that using reflection. Um, so it's, I, I, I haven't spoken with, with anyone you know, about that type of uh, functionality, but I wouldn't expect to see that change just because of limitations within JavaScript. I, I, I'm not sure what YUI is, so. Okay, I'm not sure, how, I don't know how they would implement that just because it's not within, JavaScript doesn't support that. So they might be able to mimic it, but it's not, um, JavaScript just doesn't support private mef members, it's just, it's not a, a feature of the language. Well, but I, I wouldn't really put uh, in terms of, of safety. Um, the, the comment was basically that, that it's, it's safer than uh, in JavaScript because there's no reflection. 
once someone gets access to the code, even if it's in a, a binary form, like say if somebody gets a jar file, it doesn't matter if, they, uh, if a method is private or not, you, you can always extract it. it, it It's not, that's really not going to be an effective deterrent against cross-site scripting, though. I mean, it's basically the concept of, of member visibility within a class is strictly to enforce discipline on your developers. There's no security advantages to it at all. Um, it's it's not. I, I would, you know, it's it's simply to make code more readable and developers more disciplined. That's that's about it. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Thanks,